Today, in this video, we're going to make a perpetual motion machine. And the power source for the perpetual motion machine is going to be a piece of wire wrapped around a cardboard tube. We all know that there's no such thing as perpetual motion. It goes against all the known laws of the universe. But there is energy in the air all around us. And I don't mean in the atmosphere like wind energy. There's electrical power in what used to be referred to as the luminiferous ether, or space-time, the fabric of the universe. And if we could harness some of that energy with a coil on a cardboard tube and use that to power a small device that moves, it would move perpetually and satisfy our definition of perpetual motion. Now, it doesn't have to have continuous motion. It could just move a little bit every now and then. And it doesn't have to be some big contraption of rings and gears and pulleys and ratchets and belts and ball bearings. And it doesn't need to power a refrigerator or a car. All it has to do is move, and it just has to move a tiny bit. So in this video, we're going to attempt to build just such a device. By the way, I went to a Catholic grade school named Our Lady of Perpetual Motion. I made that up. What we have here is a basic crystal radio. Here's our 1 in 3 4 diode. Now this circuit is the same circuit as the Fillmore VC1000. As a matter of fact, this base came from the trick exploding VC1000 in the last video. Uh, we have an antenna and a ground, but there's no way to tune the station. This is what it sounds like. Now believe it or not, that's what we're after. We want to bring in as many radio stations at the same time as possible. And here's our output, almost a quarter of a volt. And you can see where we're going with this. This is going to be the power source of the perpetual motion machine. Now, I was experimenting with some electrolytic capacitors. If you put a 10 microfarad capacitor across the output, you get this. It cuts off the audio, but look at our voltage. It's now 3 tenths of a volt. And we don't care about the audio. We just want some nice, smooth, direct current. All we need now is some device that moves with a minuscule amount of energy. And I thought of these solar-powered desk ornaments from the dollar store. It doesn't take much light hitting the solar cell to make the flowers move. So we'll disconnect the solar cell and connect it to the radio. And if the flowers move, they will move perpetually. As long as there are radio stations on the air, the flowers will move and we will have a free energy perpetual motion device. The way these little electronic flower pots work is there's what's called a kick motor or a pulse motor in here. There's a small circuit underneath this blob that takes the electricity from the solar cell and charges up this capacitor. When the capacitor reaches a certain charge, it'll pulse a current of electricity into this coil and that coil will kick a magnet that's in the base of this B away. Now only this B is connected to it. The other two have a linkage and they are of a certain length and weight so that they become physically resonant so that as it starts pulsing each pulse will add to the previous pulse. So we're going to disconnect the solar cell and connect our radio here. Well, this isn't looking very promising. There's hardly any light hitting the solar cell and it's already putting out two or three times as much as the crystal radio. But we'll hook it up and see what happens. Here's our red and black wires connected. I've disconnected the solar cell and I've marked the positive lead so I can hook it back up when this doesn't work. And it doesn't work. There's no perpetual motion. There's no motion of any kind. Now the interesting thing is that the voltage has increased. I think the circuit inside the flower pot is doing something, but it's not reaching a threshold required to pulse the coil to make the B move. So back to the drawing board. Look, if I blow on it, I can get it to work. Does that count? I'll have to do that forever. Maybe after I die and go to hell, that'll be my punishment. I'll spend eternity blowing on the little flower.
and rightly deserved. I've got a circuit here it's called a voltage doubler. It's got two 1 and 3 4 diodes and two small electrolytic capacitors and the output is wow quite impressive that's more than doubling the voltage so we'll hook up the flower pot to that and see what it does well connecting the flower pot to the voltage doubler pulls the voltage down to less than a half a volt which is probably the threshold needed to make that little thing move I've been watching it now for a while nothing's happening now what we've got here is a voltage quadrupler we've got four one and three four diodes and four capacitors one and a quarter volts coming out of the coil when we connect the flower pot to it it pulls the voltage right down but look it's going up now let's just watch it it moved hey it's working when the voltage reaches a half a volt the B moves did you see that and the flowers moving too we've done it we have created perpetual motion out of free energy from the air as long as there are radio stations on the air this B will move ever so slightly I took the other parts out of it now I'm getting some more motion here's the big sunflower and here's the other B here's the solar cell well I'm gonna go in the house and buzz off for a while if this isn't the lamest perpetual motion machine I've ever seen I don't know what is but thanks for watching this video maybe somebody else will come up with a better idea in the meantime have a perpetually good day bye